Okay, so I'm reading this article called Defacing of Law Office Linked to Firebombing. The gentleman has already been caught, and uh, he's 53. His name is Malcolm Miller. But in the article where they were talking about the actual vandalism of Greenspun's office, um, Greenspun is quoted as saying, This person is upset about the fact that I am representing the individual charged with the Royal Bank bombing, which is unfortunate. It is arson. It's been called arson by Vern White, the chief of police, um, because if it was really a bombing, it would be terrorism charges, thereby he'd lose all of his rights and such. But in this case, he needs to get his due process, and he's not getting that. Uh, it's clear from the messages that the person involved has some mental health issues. Um, some of the pictures um, are... What he wrote on the side of the building was uh, 1967 Canada RBC support, not the Reserve Army, I think. MTM 1957 Grey Goof Dunn, RBC Dunn, anarchist gone. Greenspawn said the next step in Clement's case was to proceed with a bail review. Clement was originally denied bail at a hearing June 28th. He faces numerous charges including arson and use of explosives with intent to cause property damage. Greenspawn is also quoted saying, We're the lawyers for the guy. It doesn't mean that we buy into or don't buy into his philosophy. What does that mean? Hi, is Lawrence in? Are you stroking up? No, I'm, I, I actually have some questions for him. Did you make an appointment with him? No, I'd love to. I actually have uh, requested an appointment via email. Okay. I called and I left a message with the receptionist. I'm not sure if that was you. Uh, may have been if Max been... Radico, do you remember that name? No. Okay. Uh, I'll just give you email address. Okay. Find it here first. F I N D I T H E R E F I R S T at gmail dot com. Okay. And you're looking to interview. Well, the re um, it's regarding his statement that was made in the newspaper yesterday. Why is he calling the? Um, it's with regards to the case with uh, Roger Clement. Um, why is he? Why did he publicly state um, bombing if it's already been um, said that uh, that terrorism is not the charges? It is definitely arson. As his legal counsel, um, he should be very careful about the public statements he's making, most especially if there's a publication ban. The public is watching this very closely, and uh, we're, um, I'm very confused as to the violence or anything, any defamation of what, what might happen at the front of your building. That's ridiculous. I'd like to help, uh, help find out, or I understand he's not pressing charges, which is also very suspicious. Anyway, Max Radical, right. thank I'll you very much. Message. Please do, right. and I'll, I'll follow up if you don't get back to me.
am again at Yumi Cafe. Um, meeting with Jane today. Uh, we both went down to the courthouse as Roger. Roger had said to Jane when she went to meet with him that his bail hearing date was today. Um, we could not confirm that with the uh, criminal counter at the courthouse uh, until today when we went in to see if there was an actual bail hearing today and they said it has been rescheduled to September 27th, um, two days short of two months away. Um, it's kind of an apology I want to make. Um, I feel like I may have offended uh, Francois Leclerc by, uh, by assuming that he was this undercover uh, police officer that they've named as the, uh, as the key bringer of evidence in order to convict these three individuals, of which one was, is not being charged with arson. We need to be very particular and we need to call this what the, what the Vern White, the police chief, has called it, which is arson. It's not a firebombing uh, because it's not a bombing it's because there is no terrorism charges. So, <clears throat> they're not being charged with terrorism, so their rights should still be due process. They should still be getting their due process, but they're obviously not but I think that's being facilitated, in my opinion, through uh, lack of uh, proper representation. I have requested to meet with, uh, with Lawrence Greenspun about this. Greenspun said the vandal had left notes at the office and was verbally abusive to the staff. Greenspun's law partner is representing one of the other suspects, Claude Herridge, but he's not another suspect in the firebombing. It's already, he's already been released for that. He's, he's wanted for, uh, he's being charged with vandalism back in February of an RBC. Uh, Greenspun has been quoted in a Yahoo article. The matter is before the courts and the system will work the way it is supposed to. I'm hopeful that he, Miller, will get some medical attention and that he will not be coming back here. He said he planned to proceed with an installation of a security system at his law office for the safety of his staff. The notices which carry fines and not criminal charges were issued because Miller was found to be intoxicated in a public place and had trespassed the Parliament Hill area after he was warned not to enter, police said. So that's all that this guy has prior. Uh, or Well, it was like probation, so this guy doing this is violating his probation. So he's uh, this is why they were able to arrest him instead of just file charges. At this time, there is nothing to indicate his affiliation with the May 18th incident, Ottawa Police Inspector Terry Cheslock said. Now, if Terry Cheslock is saying that at this time there's nothing to indicate this his affiliation with the May 18th incident, and um, there's an article written by uh, there's an article written by the uh, the Ottawa Citizen. The actual headline is defacing of law office linked to firebombing. Someone is upset that lawyer Lawrence Greenspun is representing a suspect in May's firebombing of a Royal Bank branch in the Glebe. First sentence. That's Greenspun's theory as to why the door of his Somerset Street office west was defaced Tuesday with black spray paint. Makes okay theory because the, word R, the letters RBC were actually written there. He said an individual had repeatedly visited the law office, upset that the firm was representing Roger Clement, one of three men charged in connection with the May 18th firebombing of a Royal Bank branch on Bank Street. Ottawa Citizen is saying firebombing. It's arson. It's only arson. An attempted, perhaps even attempted use of explosives, but there, it was not. It's just arson. It, the, the chief of police, Vern White, has stated that it's simply arson. An anarchist group... Fighting for Freedom Coalition Ottawa later claimed responsibility for the bombing. Where are they getting this? What FFFC means? Fighting for Freedom Coalition. Or did they get this as a statement from one of the three gentlemen that would be involved in the actual bombing, which in the actual arson? 
which we know Claude is not involved, so we still need to find the third person, assuming that Claude and, excuse me, excuse me, assuming that Roger and Matt were the two in the RBC, somebody must have been filming. On July 16th, they said, they released an article saying that there was a uh, an undercover agent who helped secure the whole case. Um, who is it? Francois Leclerc was also picked up with these guys and he was let off. But they don't say that. They say that it was just these three. 